What's going on dudes? Welcome back to the Road to 100 Rank Victory Series. This is episode 36 and this is that awesome John Fitch versus Nick Diaz fight I've been hyping up for a few episodes now. The reason I didn't want to upload this is because sub boxes are terrible. They're still bad and this isn't going to get as many views as it usually should. So that's why I was skeptical of saving the best fight of the series so far that I think it is. You guys can be the judge. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. This is an awesome awesome fight. I think it's the best episode yet and I did not want to uh, upload it if the sub box are messed up because I really want people to see this so watch this episode twice give it a like tell your friends about it Jesus it's a great episode I'm telling you I honestly think it is but uh, in the beginning you saw me I tried to touch gloves but then he, he was sprinting at me which a lot of people online like to do and I like to shoot straight for the takedown but because I was touching gloves I kinda mess it up and uh, fall on my face, need a couple shots, and right now I am working the ground, typical, you know, John Fitch style, I'm really shitting my pants because I'm scared of this fucking rubber guard because he flips you, you know, right into fucking full mount, uh, Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu style, uh, Nick and Nate Diaz, and um, so I'm just working him, I try to get the reversal off, but I'm not too great at it, but um, you saw I reversed him a couple times, landed into side control, landed a couple good shots on him, his red, uh, I mean his head, excuse me, and the top right corner is starting to bloody up, like get red, and the damage thing is starting to get into that bloody Power Ranger blood red, so, and I don't know what the fuck that was, I faced like three Nick Diaz's online, and they all have like an axe kick, does he actually have an axe kick in the game, I use him so much, and I don't think he does, so I don't know if it's a career Nick Diaz where they all like to give him the axe kick or what, but that's just weird that I faced three different people and they have Nick Diaz with the axe kick, but as you can see, he fucking drops me a little bit ago, and I thought it was fucking sweet. Dude, this fight just goes everywhere, and I'm trying to get the counter punch going. All my decisions right here are perfect, are excellent. I'm uppercutting them. This is like some of the greatest uh, counter punching sequences I've ever seen, but I start swinging a little wildly. Should have expected that, and he gets the nice takedown on me right into half guard, and he's trying to advance, and he reverses my transition, and now he's going to mount me, and fuck... I love John Fitch, though. Shout out to the subscriber that told me to use him. He's got some of the best, like, shit. And I'm just going to cover up here because I'm scared and don't want to get tagged up. But that was an awesome fucking round. That was all groundwork. That was awesome stand up and counter punching and shit. Fuck. I can't wait to see this replay, dude. I think this is fucking sweet. This is some beautiful counter punching on my part. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I think this is, like, some of the best counter punching. I've ever seen, especially up against the cage. That's my favorite part to get people up. Is this where he drops me? We'll see. Yep, yeah, I was going for a head kick and he knocked me right in the goddamn equilibrium and I fell on my punk ass. I'll fucking another replay of it. Jesus. John Fitch going nuts. And here we go. Hit him with the. I faked the, the jab, kinda, and then I went for the uppercut. Hit another one. Hook. Hook. <laughs> God, I thought that was brilliant. But yeah, man, John Fitch is awesome. He's got. That thing that you saw me do earlier in the first round, it saved my ass. And I think it saves my ass in the second or third round again, too, where you, they got you in that sprawl position, and you can just pick them up and slam them. I think Matt Hughes has it, too. And he's also got the dashing uh, jab, and what the fuck, Nick Diaz, once again, with this axe kick. I don't know. I don't get it. I just, <laughs> does he have that? Somebody please tell me. I don't get it. And I really was looking for the slam here. This guy was not having it, so I just went for the the you know the takedown that can't be reversed you just gotta get uh, the timing on it going but yeah we're almost even here look at our head damage meters on the left and the right corners so I don't really like standing and banging with Nick Diaz so I didn't think I was gonna be standing and banging this uh, fight as I land a nice head kick right there I didn't want to stand and bang I never liked to with Nick Diaz's uh, I think I have another fight that I've done or another fight that I'm gonna do where uh, I just try and just keep Nick Diaz on the ground, I don't know, I, I talked about it in one video, I do not like standing and banging with him, and he's just getting sway happy, and I'm getting scared, but I'm actually doing really good of, you know, countering it and stuff, and staying back, and like I said, I do not like to stand and bang with Nick, so I shoot for the takedown, he was fucking smart, sprawled, takes my back right here, I'm super shitting myself, but I get out, now he's got mount, and I don't know what I'm going to do here. He reverses it. Oh, man, dude. It looks like he's got me. But John fucking Fitch has the sweep takedown. And I land it beautifully because his stamina was 
pretty halfway down and mine was all the way up. That really matters when you go for those. If you're gonna go for those guys, make sure your stamina is like a bit higher than theirs and stuff, and then as long as you win the stick battle, uh, even just a little bit, usually you have to win it like a lot to land those takedowns, but if their stamina is dangerously low, it kinda like how his is now, it's like half, oh, excuse me, halfway a little bit, you'll be sure to hit it, and right now, I get, I get too scared for that position, and I try my best to fucking, you know, get out of there, and I get too predictable, and he gets a nice reversal off of me, and hits a sweet ass fucking rollover armbar for Oh my god, this fight went everywhere, man. Stand up, take down a fucking submission attempt, and then I pick him up and drop him right back into side control. Oh my god, I'm getting excited just watching this fight. I rock him again, and I'm going at him. I thought that was going to be it, but it was not, and I get him in this position, and I'm going to roll over. What I like to do from here is mix it up with knees, punches, knees, punches, but he blocked it really good and flipped over. And the round's coming to an end, and I'm just going to rain some shots on him, and I think he's going to try and get that rubber guard off again. But, you know, just block it for the last couple seconds. Uh, but I get predictable again, because I'm so scared of that position that he gets a nice reversal on me, and could have done some damage from then on if the round would have continued. But the round does not continue, and Jesus, I survived a little bit. But I'm, I'm for sure winning this fight, guys. I've rocked him twice, gotten takedowns and slams, uh, winning the stand-up most of the time. Check out some of these replays again. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, fucking punch me in my... Punch John Fitch in his tattoo. What a... Excellent replay. You go, UFC Undisputed 3. Fucking amazing. Fucking tattoo jab. Fucking... Somebody write that in the comments and everybody thumb it up. Tattoo jab for the win. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having too much fun. We're going into round three here. Fuck, last round. Gotta let it all hang out here. He's swinging wildly. Fucking that axe kick again, man. I don't get it. And we're just going sway happy. John Fitch, man. Oh, shit. I get fucking dropped there. I forgot about that. Yeah, he drops me in the stand-up battle. And then this fucking axe kick. I don't get it. And he's really good at deflecting these takedowns. But right here, that was going to save me. It still kind of saved me, but he does land the nice reversal on it and gets my back. But at least I'm not uh, fucking in that vulnerable spot again after the sprawl. And like I said, dude, this fight went everywhere. There was lots of ground game. There was lots of stand-up, there was a close submission attempt, and then there's even a clinch battle. As you see, I land a beautiful knee there. Now, in my mindset, I'm like, damn, these knees are going to fuck him up. So I hit one, I'm like, what, he didn't get knocked out with his head that bloody Power Ranger red? And then I hit another one, I was like, that should have been it, you know? Fucking, and then I'm like, alright, one more. One more I can hit, and it's going to be done. So I'm fucking trying my best to get it off here. I'm not sure if I, I think I do, and then he still doesn't get knocked out. And I'm like, what the fuck, Nick Diaz, you got a super chin. Fucking, let's see if I get it. Yep, that's right right there. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? He should have been dropped by now. But he still stands up, and he's fucking hooking me from the clinch. And we stay here almost the whole round. We've been here for a fucking good while now. And then we finally get broken free. Uh, I'm trying not to swing too wildly because I'm scared. But I utilize that dashing jab. I threw it at a perfect opening. He's getting sway happy again. But I'm tagging him just a little bit. Catches my fucking... God damn, kick. This fight goes everywhere. Nice counter punch overhand, and he's dropped again. And now I'm on top working it, and now here comes me pooping my pants over this rubber guard again. Because I fucking hate it. I should have focused more on trying to reverse it instead of getting so scared from it. But there he finally lands it, and I'm trying to do the sweep out where I take him down because his stamina is low, and I know I'll land it. But he's really smart. Not going to fall for that shit again, and he's tagging me pretty good. I'm getting scared here. I do not want to get rocked, but I do land it, and we go up against the cage, and big time slam. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm marking out for my own fight. This fight was just awesome. Like I said, enjoy it. Fucking love it. Please leave a lot of likes on it, because I'm very fucking happy for this fight, and it'll show me, if I get a lot of likes on it, that a lot of you saw it, and that's what I want. I want you guys to see the awesomeness of this fight. I get scared again at the end, and he fucking reverses me again and gets me in that position that he got me before. Whew, and I survive. I'm getting up, yeah, John Fitch, you, you pray, you get on those knees. A little busted up, not really. Nick's fucking nose looks like he just dunked his head in a goddamn cherry pie, and then here's where he dropped me, that was good, I thought he was going to throw the short one, but he throws the long one, one, I don't know which button it is to throw it, I think it's different for different guys, but the fuck, didn't even show the punch on that, it just showed like Casper the ghost bitch smacking me and I tipped over, and then here's where I dropped him with the overhand, oh holy shit, dude, this fight was insane, uh, decisions coming up here, 
Let me know if you guys think I deserve this decision. Like, I, I kind of think I do, but in my last video, people thought some people thought the other guy won. So let me know. For my fight's good a decision, let me know if you think I deserve to win or if I did not. But here's the decision right here. 30-27, all rounds, all judges. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really loved this fight. I sent him an awesome message. I like to send people that I have good fights with messages like, awesome fight, man, you're the best. But they would always, like, don't reply. I don't know why people you know, or like that. I just try to be nice. But once again, hope you like this video. Show it by hitting the thumb up, and I'll see you next time.